In 1960, the median age of the United States was 29.5 years old. However, over the years, we've continued to see this number increase. The United States is getting older, and with that comes new challenges. And it isn't just the United States. In 1950, the median age in Japan was around 22.3 years old. And in 2020, it was around 48.4 years old. In 1950, the median age in Germany was around 35.2. And in 2020, it was around 45.7 years old. We can see that developed countries around around the world are seeing their populations get older. And this change is causing countries to shift their political and economic policies to adapt to these new changes. Welcome back, geographers, to another topic review video. As always, if you find value in these videos, consider subscribing and check out my review resources in the description below for more help with your AP Human Geography class. Now, over time, as societies continue to develop, they see advancements in their healthcare services, more economic opportunities for their citizens, and more widespread education for both women and men, all of which helps reduce gender inequality and promote social and economic opportunities for citizens. As societies develop, they also put a greater focus on reducing addictive behaviors like using drugs, tobacco, or alcohol, and instead promote healthier diets and physical activity, which helps increase a society's life expectancy for all citizens, all of which is positive. But at the same time, an aging population does have some different challenges, which can impact all of society. When a population population ages, the dependency ratio starts to rise. Societies start to see more people retiring and less people working. This means that the amount of people that are paying higher taxes starts to decrease, and the amount of services that citizens require start to increase. This can put a burden on governments as they try to figure out how to provide services for their aging population while also trying to make sure they can fund all the different programs. This is especially true as populations move more into their post-reproductive years. This shift in age may push governments to implement more pronatalist policies as they try to find new ways to increase their NIR. If a government does not act quickly enough, they may not have enough essential workers, consumers to support certain businesses, a large enough tax base, or even enough people to serve in the military. Societies with an aging population may also start to see family roles shift, as many families must decide how to best take care of their aging parents or grandparents. This means that families might have to help pay for more medical bills, senior living facilities or spend more time assisting aging family members at home. Some families may opt to have their aging family members move in with them and help take care of them in their own home, all of which will shift the roles and responsibilities that family members have. When individuals have to take on more economic and social responsibilities for aging family members, it decreases the amount of free time they have and disposable income, which can have a negative impact on society and the economy. So that was just a quick look at some of the consequences to having an aging population. Now comes the time to review though. Answer the questions on the screen and when you're done, check your answers in the comment section down below or in the description of this video. And if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. That way you'll get notified when I post more videos in the future. Plus, don't forget there's also the Ultimate Review Packet, which can help you with your AP Human Geography class. It's a great resource that covers all the units of AP Human Geography and it'll definitely help you get an A in your class and a five on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much, geographers, for watching, and I'll see you next time online.